Hello everyone, welcome back to my career playthrough in Juno New Origins. In the previous video, we made a failed attempt at docking. This time I hope to make a successful attempt at docking, but we'll see. But I also want to pack on some CubeSats and see if we can do that. Um, I'll pick up this... I mean, that's a pretty high apoapsis though. And then this is also a pretty high apoapsis. So we might be trying a docking at a very high altitude, which maybe we shouldn't do, but... It'd be nice to be able to do the CubeSat mission too, just to pay for stuff. Not that we have any trouble paying for stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, instead of going to uh, TT, we'll go to this, the, these orbits and do these CubeSat missions for this docking. So yeah, we'll pick that up and pick that up. And we'll array the CubeSats at the bottom as I had tried before, I think. Uh, because at the top we have the docking port. So, it'll be more convenient like that. But, we'll go through all the flaws with our previous design. So... Okay, so first of all, we didn't need as much battery power as I packed. Oh gosh. I think we can do with half. Um, and that'll weigh less as well. Second of all, we need way more mob propellant. And since we're not going to TT, we don't have to worry about the Delta V too much. But we still sort of need to worry about it. And we'll put 5 on one and 7 on the other. Even though I was thinking about putting all 12 on the same one. Uh, since we're going to be launching two things anyway, it's just easier to do them separately. And we'll be, as I, as I understand from the comments, we'll be getting contracts to do plenty of CubeSats later on anyway, so it's not as novel a thing as I thought it was going to be to pack 12 on. Right. So, we're going to overdo the mob propellant. Hopefully, overdo. Hopefully I'm overdoing it. And we definitely want more burn time from the en- uh, no, no, not more burn time, less burn time from the engine. That was another problem. I mean, I'm tempted to just go, uh, uh, I mean, it's an expensive thing anyway. The docking port alone is 50,000, so uh, having an engine that's electric, well, we don't want elect. well, I mean, we've got the solar panels, but uh, having an engine that costs a lot isn't too bad. If we want a decent burn time for pressure-fed engine, It's getting a little bit tight, isn't it? Uh, 13 minutes might be okay. We can increase the throat size, but that'll decrease the efficiency. Doesn't seem to change our delta V too much, even if I... Uh, from the bottom of the throat size, 1.15 kilometers per second to the top. I mean, I've, uh, we've increased the mass of the engine, and we've also decreased the ISP, but... It's only about 60 meters per second of delta V. Eight minutes I can deal with, hopefully. So, eight minutes of burn time. I'm resisting trying to make the tank any bigger because I've got everything attached to it. Uh, and I'm worried that it's going to have a cow if I do that. Um, yeah. So, we'll just leave that be. We're gonna have to make the inner stage bigger. Okay. But I forgot the CubeSats. <laughs> uh, why don't we just array them? Uh, we won't array them at the bottom. We'll array them around the top here. And fire them like projectiles or something. Okay, and then Symmetry 5. Uh, part Symmetry is not available in this... It is connected to the side of a fuel tank. What do you mean? Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me get that out of the way. Maybe you're confused by that. This is a fuel tank. See, this is a fuel tank. You are connected to a fuel tank. You're connected to a fuel tank! <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay, fine. Um, all the other parts are happy. Uh, speaking of which, 
let's uh, see where the center of mass of this bit is so that we can position the orientation thrusters better. Whoa, that docking port's heavy. See, that's one, one piece of information I neglected last time, uh, was how heavy the docking port and the controller were. I thought the RCS fuel and the engine would counterbalance them much better than that, but I was wrong. So... That is my mistake. That is a heavy docking port. How heavy is the docking port and controller? The controller is uh, 62 kilograms. That's not unusual. Our engine is rather light, for uh, considering it's a huge vacuum nozzle. But then again, it's only two kill newtons. Oh, but I mean that's a 510 kilogram docking port. Um, that's a heavy docking port. <laughs> um, yeah, I would be. I was probably expecting something in the 200 kilogram range, not 500. Just mentally, because I'm so used to 200 kilogram docking ports. That's all. Um. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I've already tried attaching it to uh, attaching it to another fuel tank, but we'll attach it to the top node of a fuel tank. There's desperation here. And we'll have the fuel tanks be in symmetry. We'll we'll have little tiny. It's sort of like with the RCS ports. Okay. All right. Um. If you could be smaller, as small as possible. Move down. And in. Or the RCS thrusters are getting in their way a little bit. But the RCS thrusters were here first, so. Um. Like, I guess we'll just put five sets of RCS thrusters, because. <laughs> Then they won't get in the way of the CubeSats. It's weird. It's not what I need, but it's okay, I guess. Okay, we're certainly heavier than before. Let's double check that the RCS ports are in the correct location now that we've got the CubeSats on, too. I mean, pretty close. Uh, I'll move them up a little bit. I mean, if anything, there's gotta be mass depleting from the mob propellant tanks down here. So the center mass will tend to go further up instead of further down. Okay, but we have to get to a high orbit this time, so that's going to be tricky. And But we've got delta V, I believe. Our starting thrust weight ratio is still obnoxious. We could make this all fatter, but again, I'm going for an electron rocket here. Two million. Well, we're getting paid more than that, but just barely. Is there anything else I've forgotten? I don't think so. So, let's go. Alipad is necessary for the height of this. We're definitely trying, we, we're launching with five CubeSats, so it knows this, and we're getting to that orbit. It's not going to show me the orbit for this one. Uh, this one should be lower orbit, so we'll be catching up to our other one. It's a little bit dismal around here right now. There's no other requirements for the orbit, I believe, so... Okay, nav ball, throttle, lock, and RCS. We'll just make sure we have the indicator up, off, and launch. And quickly, it's got a very high thrust weight ratio. The higher the thrust weight ratio, the quicker you have to turn. The lower the thrust weight ratio, the slower you have to turn. So do remember that. We'll be aiming for the 132 kilometer periapsis first, and then from that periapsis we'll boost up to the high apoapsis. I have extra stuff in this display now. I wish I could make the display longer. Because I need the apoapsis and time to apoapsis. Oh, you're right. Uh, heat damage. 
let's just um, coast a bit. And maybe tilt more so that we're like shielding the engines? I don't know. I forgot to put the shielding on them. Okay, fairings and ignition of the second stage. We've got 1.7 minutes to apoapsis and it's 3 minute burn time, so that's all fine. So we'll need some of the payload in order to finish orbit. Oh, I was reading the wrong Delta V. No, we have enough for orbit. We'll still deorbit this thing. But yeah, we have enough for orbit. I was just reading the wrong Delta V again. And again, just using pitch to manage that, ap uh, well, what will become our periapsis. And I think we can just level out here and it'll be fine. Up oh, or pitch down a little bit. Okay, uh, I'll, uh, well, that's in the atmosphere. <laughs> Hopefully it'll deorbit. Okay, we still have extra in this stage. We should make a heavier payload, but... Alright, hopefully I got staging right. Separation. Okay, I didn't accidentally stage the CubeSats. It's an accomplishment. Uh, we have made Drew orbit 25 times, it says, I think. Okay, now we're going for that apoapsis. We're a little bit high on the periapsis, though. Oh, I mean, uh, no, we shouldn't be. We should be right here. It'll eventually fix itself, I think. What you want is the vertical speed to be close to zero right now, because we want the periapsis to stay, stay at 132. And so I'll pitch down a bit, because we're going up a bit. I want to go up a bit. I swear that vertical speed just jumped on me. It did! It jumped on me again. It changed from in the 20s to in the 30s. That's weird. Can't trust these numbers. There's discontinuities in the number displays here. Well, it's just barely enough delta V. Next one we should pack more delta V in here, obviously. And that'll tax the launcher more so we don't waste any. That as precise as possible. Okay. I mean, it was bound to deviate anyway. Because it was such a long burn time for this stage. Okay, we're close enough. I'll just use the engine to orient. Save ourselves the mop propellant, which we know we're going to need a lot of. Potentially. Maybe the better RCS placement will help. Oh, wrong way. Oops, I went prograde. <laughs> This using the engine to orient is only possible with infinite ignitions, really. Okay, that is the right number. And it seems like it's the CubeSats there, so... We have fired the CubeSats. Did they all go? Oh, some of them got caught. <laughs> but it didn't care. Okay, so apparently uh, the CubeSats can get caught on stuff. Uh, but they're floating away. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, we don't. Well, uh, we. Uh, I. I'll. I guess I'll end flight. We. We want to save flight, obviously, because this needs to continue so that we can dock with it. One hundred thirty-six meters per second left, though. So save and exit. Okay. So we need to make a few more adjustments. First of all, we need more cubesats, and we don't have seven-way symmetry, so it's a little bit dodgy. But so you. First of all, I want four-way symmetry, and I'm gonna copy you. So now we've got them arrayed on our thing. They seem to not be clipping each other too badly, but then this this one is way. Um, we can scooch those over, and let's verify the center of mass. Okay, uh, we'll say that's good enough for now. And I will put a supplementary tank. And we are going to have Parallax. 
tanks in the set. So actually, in total, we only have 511 kilograms of Kerlox, which is just the mass of the docking port. Hmm. No wonder we don't get much Delta V out of this. We should probably make it wider in the future. Okay, I am going to move these little RCS ports up back to the center of mass. I might as well move the little CubeSat containers forward of them. So that just might hasten when they hit something. <laughs> and then they'll explode! Oh, we can still enlarge like that, but then... Just clipping the little CubeSat containers. That might give them more clearance, though. Seems like the docking port was colliding with them, potentially. Okay, so RCS ports are where they ought to be. I mean, technically, the ones that we have at the bottom, that's because I want them to do translation like that, but for rotation, they're not exactly in the best orientation. But, okay. And now we have a 11 minute burn time, so maybe I'll increase the throat size of this a little bit more. Not identical anymore. But then again, they did modifications to the Gina engine along the way, so I guess it's okay. So we have more Delta V, we have more CubeSats, there are seven of them. Hopefully that's balanced well enough. And they're poking out of the fairing. <laughs> Figures. Okay. Now we're all good. We've expanded our CubeSat launcher. And it's still 2 million. Let's see if it works. Uh, launch craft by exceeding 50. Wrong craft. No, you need to track this craft now. Okay, so we're going to the higher orbit with higher periapsis, but we'll actually stay at a low periapsis first, get to the apoapsis, and then boost up to the 251. So I'll keep it close to like 100 kilometers on the periapsis, instead of going directly to 251. Since we're probably not going to end up holding 251 anyway. So throttle up, stability assist on, and RCS off, and ignition. Well, I want to go shallow with the high thrust rate ratio, but I better not go shallow because the engines are going to overheat. So we're going to throttle down to avoid that whole thing. We've got too many engines. We really only need like six, maybe. But I want an electron rocket, so there. <laughs> so we're carrying all these. So yeah. We've got this translation mode. I don't know if it's going to solve my problem. Mo mainly the problem last time probably was the RCS placement. But maybe translation mode would be good, or maybe not. Oh, three parts taking heat damage. Uh-oh. Separation. Okay, heat damage, go away. I think those that's still the other mage engine, so it's okay. We could probably do with still less battery. Okay, well, we'll dump less than before, but we're still gonna dump a tiny bit, I think. I'll keep it to that. Alright, separation and ignition. Okay, we have made orbit and continuing. And uh, it's reading the wrong Delta V again right now. We know we have more than that. Stop lying. Yeah, the way the vertical speed reads, it's like it's adjusting for the curvature of the world discreetly. In steps. At least that's how it seems to me. Now, I haven't lined up with the other target. We're going to have to do... Some... 
extra maneuvers to get these two in sync with each other. But we did launch very close in timing, so our periapses might be close to the right position. No, we didn't, because uh, we're probably completely out of phase. Uh, or maybe not, actually. Somewhat out of phase. We're somewhat out of phase. It could be worse. I got lucky on that. I should have phased with the other one a little bit better. But... I have confidence that we can manage somehow. What I mean by phase is, it's better if our periapses are in the same place. Uh, right now, we've got this sort of skew to the orbits, and that's not great. That's going to cost extra to fix. Okay, this little Gina has done its thing. Yeah, okay, that's actually a little bit worse than I was expecting, but... Okay, not quite accurate there, but... Detach. Okay, we made our money. And actually, I got an achievement unlock. We're only in it for the money. Um, okay, but we need to uh, figure this out, huh? That's a bit of a mess, to be honest. We gotta boost up first. Oh, it's got a tail off now. You didn't have a tail off before. Okay, well, at least I can make maneuvers. Now that's... I don't know if there's gotta be enough. That's about where our orbits cross, right? That's still a lot of Delta V. It's probably pulling it down in the opposite way. So we want to do that here. Come around here-ish. It's not really showing an encounter, but then we haven't targeted this thing yet. That looks like it's a pretty good match. 279 though. We have 194. <laughs> um, hopefully we can do some of RCS, but I'm not too sure how much Delta V we have like that. Oh, uh, we're still firing the engine? Uh, it's still got the animation. I don't know why. I didn't mean to be firing the engine, but it still had the animation there. I'm using RCS here. Let's see how much effect it has. It has pretty good effect. All right. Let's dump some of the RCS before proceeding with the stage Delta V. Okay, we've used half of our mod propellant. I'll use the rest. I'll do the rest with the engine. Well, shucks. Um, it says a close approach right there, not over there, but you know we're fa still phasing with it. So let's go around a few times to see what happens. I think we should jump to the other one and use its Delta V. And this one has a little bit of stage delta V, apparently. But we'll save that. And 48% mod propellant. It's got battery recharging. Okay, take control of that craft. Right, so there's the lower craft. And we want to target the higher craft. It sure seems like we're getting close over here. <laughs> Okay, more sensitivity, please. Be more sensitive. I mean, that looks pretty good right there, right? Six kilometers, 79. 79 plus 70, let's say. I mean, with the RCS, it should be doable. It is all very, very tight. But, you know, it being tight sort of makes me happy. <laughs> should be tight. Okay, burning with the RCS first. Okay, I'll do the rest with the engine. Well, that's about as close as we can get that. All right, but this is not the approach info I was looking for. So uh, RCS back on. Get that back where it was supposed to be. Okay, now it's going too far away. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, hopefully it's telling you the truth. All right. Moving along. Okay, we are close. Actually, it's moving away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought we were... Okay, guess I'm trying to push the vector towards it so that we get closer. Uh, no, don't, I want this. Oh, whatever. Made it all complicated again. Okay, I'm not thinking about this properly. Once again, I think I got confused by the little vectors. Well, even with the thruster placement, uh, it's not perfect right now. Um, okay, what, what's the translation mode do for me? I'll take within two kilometers for now. We're running out of juice, though. Again. Of course, this is a much more ambitious rendezvous now. Okay, let me try translation. No, okay, translation mode does not seem to be. Well, we're out of juice on this side. I'll let it drift for now. We are on the opposite side, where we have 7.7 .7 meters per second. And I don't see an encounter right now. Okay, now, 9 meters per second difference. And we need target info. Gosh. And that's all our Delta V there. Well, all our main engine Delta V. Oh, no. These, the um, RCS ports on here rotated wrong. This one can't translate at all. This will have to just be the dummy target. The other side has to do the docking. I forgot, uh, when we move them, they need they unrotate themselves 90 degrees so that they align in this axis. They need to be on that axis. This can't dock. So we'll have it do everything else. Okay. Getting close here. So we're as close to in line as I can be, and I've got hold and slow down. Okay, we're pretty close to parked. We can see our target there. I don't know why it's not currently... Uh, well, there we go. Docking part port is what I want as a target anyway. Okay, so... I don't know why the velocity vectors are so different, but... Oh, this is the orbit! Gosh. Oh, it's reversed up and down. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. I swear I should probably turn off the stabilization. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna turn off the stabilization. Okay, no. Oh. Okay, I'll turn on the stabilization. I give up. I give up. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side to help orient. And again, it goes to orbital velocity instead of target, even though I was on target before. And again, it's on orbit. It doesn't even have my target anymore. Gosh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, back off, back off. No, this is horrible. <laughs> I may try in translation mode now. I don't know. 
No, this is horrible. Okay, a translation mode is definitely not what I want. I understand what translation mode is trying to do, but I, I don't want that. It's using the- it turns the joystick into a translator. I, I don't need that. That's not what I want. Its ability to hold the craft stable during translational maneuvers, even when the RCS ports are directly in line with the center of mass, is bad. <laughs> to put it bluntly. And the fact that I have to retarget everything every time is also not great. I'm actually going to use this side without the translational thrusters because translation doesn't seem to be working very well for me right now, anyway. And once again, let's target. Change the target. And uh, turn a bit. Uh, that's not... It doesn't understand the thruster placement. I don't understand why they made the 90 degree gimbling ones. <laughs> it just doesn't understand how this is supposed to work. Oh, come on. Game crashed. <laughs> oh, good. Alright. Uh, that's... Not helpful. That's the first game, game crash, for the record. Now, I've docked Gemini to Agena in re-entry, just barely. Like to keep this flight or revert your game state? No, keep flight. <laughs> uh, can we go to that thing? Re resume flight. Well, one of the electrons will be fine. Let's see where it's at. Yeah, uh, I know hard docking stuff. Oh shoot, it's coming towards us. Wait, my boink. Uh, guys, I didn't do anything. It just docked. <laughs> what? What? It's sort of anticlimactic. It just... Now, it sort of robbed me of my accomplishment, didn't it? So... Close the game, open it again, and they'll just magically dock to you? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe... There's so much I don't understand. Okay, well... The RCS port... This, this sort of RCS port... Or, well, that, that side was messed up anyway. But this sort of RCS port arrangement definitely does not... Help... This game out. I think the game is expecting outward facing ports, which aren't necessary. You don't need those. But maybe it needs those. It doesn't understand how to translate with these oriented like this, maybe. I don't know. I don't know why why it's uh, got so much stability issue. But, okay, we're docked, but I can't say I did it. So I'm not happy. But I think next time we'll move on to something else. Yeah. Definitely gonna move on to something else. At least we deployed our CubeSats. Let's make sure that the contracts really did get fulfilled, though. So, in flight. Mm, safe flight. They didn't give me any achievement for docking the stuff to get together. Well, those contracts are gone, so I, you know, we definitely did them. Okay. So, alright. Mixed feelings about that, but we'll leave it here for today. And we'll see what we do next time. I still want to go to TT, but we still don't have a contract for it. Maybe uh, somebody suggested a grand tour of uh, the moons, and maybe we'll do that. This Briegel landing is very lucrative, obviously, not that we need money, but, you know, it's nice not to need money, <laughs> so, and the way you not need money is to get money. But then there's these two small, small sat missions, which could be interesting. All right. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.